And it's so nice to welcome the European Union's ambassador to the United States onto the program, Joao Valle de Almeida. Thank you so much, Mr. Ambassador, for joining us. Thank you. Thank you for hosting me. Now, uh, we've all seen here stateside, we've seen the video of the riots in Athens. We've heard about the debt crisis, and we know today is a very big day as far as the debt swap deal goes. Can you please tell us how things are uh, from the European Union side of things, and then how today's events could affect the United States? Well, in fact, uh, as you know, we are dealing with this uh, aftershocks of the financial crisis in Europe for the last uh, couple of years. Some countries have been more affected than others. Greece is one, is one of them. So we've been doing whatever we can to redress the situation in Greece with the support of the Greek authorities and the Greek parliament and the Greek population was going through important sacrifices. So it's normal that you see some kind of demonstrations and the expression of, uh, of, um, uh, of the public opinion in, in Greece. But it's very important to notice that what we are doing is to create the conditions for Greece to return to the markets, create the conditions for Greece to grow uh, again uh, with a higher degree of, uh, of competitiveness. So this is what we're talking about. Today there is an operation going on, a voluntary uh, uh, that exchange uh, that is taking place these days. So we, we are doing everything we can to create those conditions and we are confident that that will be the case. You know, stateside, from, from the academic to the layman on the street, we hear globalization, we know it's important, we know it has an impact, but perhaps Americans' focus, uh, the everyday Americans' focus has been on the trade relationships with China, that's what we hear about in the news. Uh, we don't necessarily think how strong the ties are between the United States and the European Union. Uh, so if you would, yeah. please explain to us uh, the effect that the, the debt crisis in the European Union has had uh, on the American economy. I think the starting point is a clear one. We are still, U.S. and the EU, the most important uh, bilateral trade and investment relationship in the world. We account for roughly 50% of world's GDP, one-third of world's trade. So there's a lot going on across the Atlantic, and it's still a, a vibrant and robust economic relationship. We believe we can still produce more jobs and growth, uh, and we are working on that. But it is, in fact, a very important one. China is important. Brazil and India, the emerging economies, are extremely important. Asia is uh, where you know, the growth is fastest in, in the world, but still this relationship is crucial for, uh, for our economies and for the world economy. That's why it's so important that one follows what happens in Europe from the US and what happens in the US if you are, if you are European. The impact is there because we are interconnected, we are interdependent. Uh, but the news I, I, I want to bring to, to you uh, is that Europe is doing its homework. Europe is coming out of this uh, difficult situation. And the news in the last uh, couple of months are uh, very encouraging. So I'm more optimistic today than I was two or three months ago. Well, that's wonderful to hear. Mr. Ambassador, if I may squeeze in just one last question here. Uh, we hear from our government leaders and we hear even more regularly from the folks running for various national offices uh, about the concern of the American uh, national debt considering the interdependency between Europe and the United States, how concerned are you as the EU's ambassador uh, about the size of the mounting national debt in the US? Well, the issue of debt and deficit, the, 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 the balance of, or non-balance of, uh, of our public finances is an issue for all the countries, I believe. We discussed this inside the G20, which is the body that brings together the most important economies in the world, and it was clearly identified that each country will have to do uh, its homework. In Europe, we are addressing this issue head on. We believe that uh, putting order in our public finances is a condition for credibility, for trust, uh, from the markets and we are uh, doing exactly that. It is painful here and there, it requires sacrifices, but we believe there is no alternative to that. I don't want to comment on the situation in the US. All I say is that whatever the US can do to create conditions for growth uh, uh, is good for Europe and is good for the world economy. All right, Joao Valle de Almeida, thank you so much, Mr. Ambassador, for your time. Very humble to speak with you today. Thank you.